Now, many of you already know that for the month of October, Neo sold over 16,000 deliveries. Now, from the report that we get to see at the beginning of each month from Neo, that report only told us that over 11,000 of those vehicles were SUVs, while the rest were sedans, including, of course, uh, the shooting brake, right? Well, today, ladies and gents, we got to see the exact numbers that Neo sold uh, the pair model to make the total of over 16,000 deliveries which they reported in October and I must say guys there is one model that is making me to be really excited because that model ladies and gents year over year so over 450 percent increase uh, whilst of course I saw a month to month increase of over 150 percent and that is the model namely the Neo EC6 EC6 ladies and gents for the month of October sold over 2,500 which is something that is pretty good because ladies and gents uh, that figure puts it in the third most selling vehicles uh, on all of the Neo models which makes me to be really excited and it was I think it was made to be this way or Neo always planned that this will be one of the models that is supposed to boost the Neo sales I mean the the first uh, or the most sold model uh, out of Neo you all know that is the Neo ES6 which of course saw a slight decline from the uh, September deliveries and its record then at over 11,000 on a month to month. So this uh, uh, month or the month of October, we saw the ESX coming with 5,875. These 5,875 deliveries uh, from the ESX model were down from the over 7,800 deliveries we saw coming from this very uh, same model in September, which was not uh, that good, right? But I must say it is still the best selling, so I think we should still continue giving credit to this model because this is the model that is really boosting a lot of sales onto uh, the Neo stock or onto Neo. The second best selling model, ladies and gents, is the ET5 Touring, which, ladies and gents, for the month of October, it sold 3,105, which is up almost 20% from the 2,000 or over 2,500 deliveries which we saw coming from the very same model for the month of September. Now, the third best-selling model, which is the EC6, saw, of course, total deliveries of over 2,500, which was, ladies and gents, uh, 151 or over 151 percent from the just over 1,000 deliveries we saw, of course, for the month of September, which is something that makes me to be really excited. This is the model that, ladies and gents, uh, delivery wise, it is uh, sort of like increasing, which is something that is pretty good. Otherwise, in the fourth place, we've got the ES8, which is selling pretty good also because they sold 2,251 vehicles, which was a bit higher than the over 2100 they delivered or reported for the month of September. This is also a model that I like when the deliveries increase because this is the most expensive model that Neo is currently selling which um, a lot of vehicles uh, selling from this model uh, result in the average price uh, uh, per car on Neo increasing which makes it pretty good and it is one of the cars that is supposed to boost the gross margins from Neo. So I'm very excited to say that even um, the most expensive vehicle on Neo uh, saw an increase in in deliveries in October when comparing to September but the most exciting deliveries for me are the EC6 deliveries which ladies and gents came over 2500 which was not only a 450 percent increase or over 450 percent year over year but it was 150 percent increase from the kind of deliveries we saw it producing for the month of September otherwise the fifth best-selling car which is the ET5 ladies and gents also saw a 50% increase uh, when comparing with the kind of deliveries they had reported back in September and that is of course they sold over 1,500 vehicles which is something that is uh, good because uh, to know that the ET5 it is selling uh, these figures I think it is a good thing right it is pretty good for Neo and I think this 50% increase ought to be of course not taken very likely because it is an increase uh, from the September deliveries which I hope to see it continue but nonetheless like I said to me the biggest uh, highlight when I saw this report was the kind of growth we saw from the Neo EC6. EC6 
I think chances are very high that they are scoping deliveries from the, of course, the ES6. There are a lot of uh, Neo users or Neo clients that might be choosing the Neo EC6 over the ES6, which is why we're seeing, of course, the deliveries or the numbers of the EC6 increasing, which chances are we'll see it continue increasing because, I mean, <laughs> the EC6 is one of the most beautiful SUV or electric SUV uh, vehicle in the entire EV market, which is why I'm not surprised to see the numbers continuing increasing, which is something that I expect to see it uh, uh, continuing also in the months ahead. So I'm very excited uh, about this. Uh, I mean, this to me was good news or great news and i think yeah i would like to continue saying of course more or we'd like to continue saying more and more of these good numbers increase for neo so that at least they can get to their uh, to their of course uh, twenty thousand or over twenty thousand vehicles uh, which they've only delivered once uh, and that is was back in june of this year i personally believe that this month ladies and gents neo will deliver over twenty thousand deliveries uh, in fact they will break a new or they will announce a new uh, monthly deliv delivery record which uh, yeah i cannot wait to see that because already for the first week of uh, of uh, this month we saw the nav insurance registrations coming oh around 4200 which is pretty good figure looking at the kind of figures that neo was producing uh, when we look at the first weeks uh, or at the first week of the previous month this gives me hope this makes me to be confident onto the kind of deliveries that we could see neo delivering going into the future otherwise uh, you will know that this was just an entertainment video and not a professional financial advice video i really appreciate if you can just hit the likes button if you did enjoy the content that i was giving you about neo's uh, deliveries breakdown or neo's uh, uh, breakdown of the 16,000 or over 16,000 deliveries we saw them producing for the month of october those of you that are retaining you will know that this neo it is the stock that i talk a lot about on this channel because i believe in their fundamentals in their future prospects and those that are persevering throughout this short-term headwinds of the share price i believe that they are going to be rewarded because ladies and gents things are improving onto neo and the improvement it looks like it's going to continue uh, even going to next year which is something that is pretty good because the decisions and the of course uh, plans that we are seeing or reading about neo shows us that neo is ready to break even next year which is something that i look forward to so if you're a neo fan hit the like button subscribe because on this channel i talk a lot about this talk otherwise that's all from me and I wish you nothing but the best in the stock market investing journey and God bless you all.